Beyond that, stylistically, it makes for an interesting fight. James Tony has supreme boxing skills. Roy Jones has sublime athleticism. about to get underway here in round one. <laughs> Tony's looking to control the rhythm of the fight with effective countering. Tony's been clocked by a hook he never saw coming. Relaxed arms on his toes. He's got the speed and he definitely knows it. Roy Jones comes on full force with that combination. He works the jab. You know, James Tony is just a classic throwback. He's a sweet science lover, and he's a rugged infighter. Roy Jones, just the opposite. Yeah, he'll show you those glimpses of power punches and good skills, but at the end of the day, he's a speedy athlete with a great punch. Wrist clean counter punch from Roy Jones! The Philly shell is great for your opponent to counter with, but if he doesn't lean with those punches well enough, you can tag him. Jones Jr.'s fist shoots to his midsection and does big-time damage. Great counter skills, and follows it up with a huge haymaker that sends him back. I like what I saw there. He got his opponent off balance with the feint, and then followed up with a sizzling shot. You know, you almost get the feeling sometimes that Jones is just playing bored in there. He nails his opponents at will. He can anticipate every move they're going to make. It's as though he's fighting heavy bags with arms. Tony's going to have to come up with an answer for that hook to his head. Hard blow reverberates throughout his frame. Counter hook catches him off guard. He's putting on a little show. He got his opponent to bite on the bait, then force fed him a hard fist. It's so interesting to see the comeback of James Tony, and of course he was recently awarded with a fighter of the year. He's had a roller coaster career, still only four losses out of 71 bouts. Jones Jr. knows exactly what he's doing. Another sharp hook to the midsection. Ten seconds left to go. Roy displays his hand speed with a series of jabs. James Tony's corner needs to keep the energy up so he can have another round like that one. Another one-sided round. Let's get one more look at just how this fight is being dominated. 
pal. We're gonna do what we can about that cut on your left eye. Don't worry about that round. Let's focus on getting this next one. Your opponent has opened up a cut over your eye, but we're gonna try and stop the bleeding. I need you to stay strong and get your head straight and fight your way back into this one. Circle away from his right hand. Start working your jab. Stay on the outside, and let's try to get back in this thing. That's right. You kept control of that round. We're gonna need more of the same, kid. You see that cut opening over his left eye? I want you to use it for target practice. Attack the gash with jabs and crosses, and let's see if we can't rip that thing open. Let's get going with round number two. <laughs> I'll bet he'll think twice before... Tries to make fun of another fighter. A jab, then a cross finds its home. Nice one-two lands there. James Tony eating a nice jab to the face. What his opponent has in the speed department also may be a liability in the power department. Roy connects with a good jab. I'm a big fan of that Philly defensive shell style. It's a risky technique, but the ones who can do it well can really mess a guy up. A jab upstairs. Roy Jones with a nice, clean jab combination. Dominating the fight game just doesn't seem to be enough for Roy Jones. He dabbles in all other sorts of stuff. Rap music, basketball, raises pit bulls, fights Gamecocks. Tony's got a real problem on his hands, and he's going to continue to get tagged with uppercuts like that. When you talk about throwbacks in the fight game, you got to talk about guys like James Tony. Tony will take any fight any day of the week. Nice two-shot combo. James Tony's hit again, adding insult to injury. Roy Jones got to work on protecting himself after he throws, or he's going to continue to get tagged with counter shots. Roy Jones Jr. has found an early opening and unleashed a big combo. Jones Jr. hits him with the jab. Nicely executed jab combo by Roy Jones Jr. He shoots a jab to the body. Nice jab by Jones. Lead hook digs to the body, then a left hook up top. Just got to make it through these last 10 seconds. This round was so evenly matched, it could easily go for either fighter. Good round for both fighters. Here's some of the highlights. We can't send him back out there with his eye looking. You keep winning rounds out there, and you're going to be able to breathe real easy. Come on, son. you got to listen to me. Your pal across the ring is tearing your new eye socket. I need you to get your guard up. Protect your face at all costs. When he comes in on you, parry that left hand and look to counter your way back into this fight.
is your focus. Here comes round number three. That's what a speed guy does, folks. He dances around you. He can make you look like a fool out there. Roy Jones with a jab and a straight right hand. Roy Jones is able to land squarely with a three-punch combination. Bang, and he stumbles back from a skillful haymaker off a counter move. He really went for that feint. Then he got tagged with a big punch as he left himself totally open. He counters and hits him with a pounding haymaker that sends him reeling back. And he comes back with an authoritative uppercut. He gets a surprising counter haymaker that pounds him hard. Roy's thrown a great jab that lands flush. Tony's landed a perfect counter hook. Landed two jabs there. Roy Jones hurt. His legs are losing stability. And I'm not sure if he'll last this round. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. You can see the hurt in his eyes, and his body looks like it's about ready to come. more punishment he can take. The rest of this round is going to be a real test for Jones. I'm not surprised at all that he's warning of defending stoppage in tonight's fight. If you can't protect yourself, the referee has to do it for you. Wow, he's off balance now. That counter haymaker surprised him. A couple of nice punches from Jones. Roy Jones in a world of trouble now. He's been taking a lot of punishment. He collapses again. He falls to the ground yet again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. It's over. You're out. James Tony's playing to the crowd, and why not? He's got to be pleased with his knockout victory here tonight. <laughs>